What's going on and welcome to Oil & Gears. Today we're going to put a dual USB port in our second gen Scion XB. Now I've already done this on the first gen here, so check out that video if you do have a first gen. But we're going to do this. Now before we do this, I'm going to open up the package and show you exactly what comes in the box. Now the instructions don't really have much in there. Um, it's just a bunch of pictures just like this. doesn't really tell you what to do. but I've seen, so that's the dual USB port right there, and it'll turn blue and then red when you're charging. So this is going to go in your cigarette lighter. That's where it plugs in, and then your cigarette lighter is going to plug into that. So you're going to be able to use both this and your cigarette lighter at the same time. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to put this USB right there. So what's good about this USB is that you can have the USB either way and it'll fit on there. So this is what we're going to put in this blank spot right here. So first you're going to remove this top piece. Now with my release series, I have an extra light that's up here. So if you don't have a release series, you won't have to worry about this. But this little plug here for the light can be a little difficult. So I'm gonna use a pair of pliers. All right, so now that we got this off, now we need to get to the cigarette lighter that's down here so this little piece and just keep in mind that a lot of these pieces are plastic and they're held together with just small clips like this so you just firmly have to pull them off Here we go right here. All right, so now that we've taken off this piece here, as you can see, it needs to be cleaned and it hasn't been cleaned and probably hasn't even been opened since the car was made, but that's what we're gonna take out. So that's where the connection is going to be. So we'll do that now. All right, so now that we've gotten this disconnected from the cigarette lighter, we're gonna add this here. So what we need to do now that we've gotten this disconnected from the cigarette lighter is take off this piece here. So there's that. And that is what went there. So now we're going to feed the wires from the dual USB through here and connect it to the connector on the cigarette lighter there. And also the wires here on the dual USB have a fuse. So if the dual USB ever goes out, check the fuse here before you check your car fuses because this will probably go out before your car does. All right, so now that we've got it on just like that, now we'll connect this to the cigarette lighter. So make sure that once you put this USB here, as you can see it's now in, that you run these wires through here. You want to feed these wires through the top. Just 
just like that. So now we'll just hang this here. You're gonna take the male end of the USB port and connect it to the cigarette lighter here. And then the main wire that connected to the cigarette lighter before will go into the female end here. And you'll be able to use the USB port and the cigarette lighter at the same time. All right, so now that we've gotten everything connected, we'll put this piece back here. And again, all these are held by clips, so it's easy to just reinstall. And again, with mine, I have an extra clip here for my release series light. Just like that. We'll feed this in here. This will pop back on like so. All right, there you go. It's now flush and it looks pretty good. Before you just had a void there, and now you have dual USB chargers. Right, now that you can see that we've connected the USB and it's flush here in the center console, we'll turn the car on here just like that. And then what we'll do is we'll connect the USB just like this. So what's cool about this port is that you can connect the USB. So if you see how it has this white piece here, you can connect it either way, this way or upside down, and it's going to fit. So if I turn it that way or if I turn it the other way, it fits. And that's the way USB ports should have been made, not where you had to plug it in a certain way. So that's what I like about this port here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in there. And as you can see, the USB port turns red, so that means it's charging. And there you go. It works. And we'll do the other side. The other port there. And again, you can turn it around and it'll still charge. So there you have it. We've installed a dual USB port in our Gen 2 Scion XB. Well, there you have it. We've added the dual USB port in our second gen Scion XB. Link is in the description if you're looking for that. It's real easy to do. So like, comment, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the flip side. Peace.